In this video, we're going to look at Quick Notes on the Mac. With Quick Notes, what we can do is easily create a note from within any app. If we're using Safari, we can even add a link to that note. This was introduced with macOS Monterey. Let's take a look at Quick Notes on my Mac. Now with Quick Notes, as I mentioned in the introduction, what we can do is create a Quick Note from within any app. Let's go and open up my calendar app. What I would like to do is create a note, a quick note. I don't want to open up the notes app. I just want to create a new note. And then I want to get back to my calendar. Maybe something came into my mind. This is where quick notes come into play. Now there are a few different ways to do this. One way is by using the globe key on your keyboard and then the Q key. So it's the globe key and Q key at the same time. When I do that, what we have is a new note. And then from here, I can jot down my thoughts. So I'm just going to type in here my thoughts. And I close it. I can go back to my calendar. So again, I did not have to have my notes app open. Let's say I wanted to add something to that note. By default, when you create a quick note, what it'll do is it'll open up the last quick note. So I'm going to go with the globe key and the Q key again. And you can see it opened up my last note. I can go and add more items to it. I can also open up that note or open up a quick note by going to the lower right hand corner of my display. So if I move my cursor down to the lower right hand corner here and then I move it all the way over to the edge, watch what happens. You're going to see a little note peek there. That is my note, my quick note. All I have to do is just click on it and you're going to see my note there. Again, what it does is it opens up the last note that you had. Now, if you wanted to always open up a new note, every time you create a quick note, it's going to be a new quick note. What you'll do is open up the notes app here, and then you need to go to your preferences. So I go up to notes in the menu bar, and then we go over to preferences. Under preferences, you're going to see resume last quick note. This is going to be selected by default. When I deselect this, now what it'll do when I create a new quick note, so I'm going to quit out of notes here, and I'm in my calendar, I want to create a new quick note. All I have to do is hold down the globe key and the Q key. It opens up a new note. I close it. Now I want to create another quick note. I'm going to move my cursor to the lower right hand corner of my display. So I just go down to the lower right hand corner, and when I click, we can see it is a new note. So this is note three now. So now I have three notes in there, three quick notes. When we're in Safari, we can even take this a step further. We can add links. Let's go and close this calendar app. And now I'm going to go to Safari. Let's go to Apple here. And let's say I wanted to create a quick note with a link to Apple here. Well, being that I'm looking at apple.com, what I can do is go up to the share icon, and then you're going to see notes. I select this, and it creates a new note. So I'm going to save this. Another thing I can do is use the globe and the Q key, keyboard shortcut. So I go globe Q. We can see we have a new note, and I will go website, Apple, and if I want to add the link, I go over to the link icon here, click on it, and we go and add that link. We can do the same thing with a quick note in the lower right hand corner. I go down to the bottom, click on it, it's going to be a new note. I click on the link, I add Safari in here, and now we have that link in there. As you saw, we can also, because I have messages open, I can also add a link to messages. So I just go globe Q, open up a new note, and let's say I wanted to add my message link in here. I click on add link and it'll add that as well. So now where do I find these quick notes? I know how to add them. I can add links to them if I'm in Safari. Where do I go and find these quick notes? Well, let's go ahead and quit out of Safari here. And then we're going to go to my notes app. You're going to see up at the top here I have quick notes. This is where Quick Notes are found. 
So I click on it, and now I can see all of the different quick notes that I created. To open up any of them, I just double click on it to open it up. As of this point, it is just another note, but it is located in my quick notes. Now, if I want to move these quick notes to my standard notes, I can do that as well. So I use quick notes to quickly get my thoughts in a note. Now that I have all of my thoughts in a note, I would like to move that over to a folder here. I'm going to move it over to notes. All I have to do is just drag it over there. So let's go and move this note here, website Apple. All I have to do is just take it and I drag it over to notes here. I can put it into any folder. And when I do that, it moves it out of quick notes here. You're going to see it is no longer there. I only have four notes, but it will be in my notes folder here. And then the last thing I want to mention is we can also change which corner we use for creating a quick note. We don't even have to have that turned on. Basically what this is is a hot corner. So what Apple has done with Mac OS Monterey is it has set the lower right hand corner here to create a quick note. It's a hot corner. What are hot corners? Well, Apple has had them for a while. Let's go and open up my system preferences here. So I go to the Apple menu, and then we go over to my system preferences. Under system preferences, we go over to mission control. Under mission control, you're going to see we have hot corners. With hot corners, what I'm able to do is set my Mac to do specific things when I move my cursor into a corner. I've talked about this in other lessons. My favorite thing to do is have it go and show my desktop when I move my cursor to the lower left hand corner. This is a hot corner. So if I move my cursor to the lower left hand corner here, watch what happens. It hides that system preference and I can see my desktop. I move it in there again, it brings it back. So that's basically what hot corners are and we can set this up for each corner. Well with Mac OS Monterey, what Apple did is they created an option for quick note. So if I want to move this to the upper left hand corner, I can do that. All I have to do is just click on it. I don't want it for anything. And then I go over to the upper left hand corner here and I say I want this to be a quick note. And now when I move my cursor to the upper left hand corner, we get my quick note here. So that is how quick notes work on the Mac. Basically, it's an easy way to create a note. We can do this from within any app. We can press the globe and the Q key to open up a quick note. We can move our cursor to the lower right hand corner and it'll open up a quick note. We jot down our thoughts and then we can get back to work. We just hide that note and we're back at our previous application. By default, it will just add to an existing quick note. But if you go into your notes preferences, you can also have it create a new note every time you want to use a quick note. If you're using Safari, you can also add links to those quick notes. You will find these quick notes in a new section in your notes app. When you are done using it as a quick note, you can also move that over to a standard folder. And then last, you can also change which corner is used for creating a quick note. It's found in the system preferences, mission control, hot corners. Again, this was introduced with macOS Monterey, so if you're using an older version of macOS, you will not have QuickNotes. So that's how we use QuickNotes on the Mac.